Hi there friends, for many, maybe also for you, writing in an academic context is a major source of anxiety. And so I tell people when they walk in the door in my lab that they should start writing from the very beginning. Because this way you confront your anxiety head on right from the start. The main reason I tell people that it is so important to start writing from the very beginning is that doing science and writing are in fact not two separate things. They are part of doing science. There is no science without writing. So if you are a scientist, you are by default, by necessity, also a writer. I think adopting this basic mindset that <laughs> I'm a scientist, therefore I'm also a writer is, is super helpful and is very important because I think in the minds of many people, writing is something that is separate from doing science, like doing the lab work, for example. But in fact, one doesn't make sense without the other. So it's much more productive to view them as two sides of the same thing. So given that, here are six reasons why you should start with writing really early on. And by that, I mean basically the moment you walk through the door in graduate school. The first and very obvious reason is that as with everything, as with any other thing you do during your PhD or afterwards doing your postdoc when you learn new things, is you get simply better with practice. I still get better with my writing all the time. And so I think if you start early, simple logic suggests that then you have more time to practice until the end of your three or four years, depending on your system, you will be just better. You will be better at writing. So of course, conversely, that means if you hold off on your major writing tasks until towards the end of your PhD, let's say, you will have had comparatively less time to practice. A second very good reason is that for many people, that end of the PhD, for example, is that mad rush writing up phase that is a source of anxiety and panic as things don't work as you thought they would or they take longer. And so by starting writing from the very beginning, you basically may even avoid largely that big writing up phase at the end of your PhD because you have been writing all along. I mean, it's not completely possible, of course, to have no writing tasks that are sort of um, at the end because you will have to, you know, put things together and uh, find, put the finishing touches on some of your manuscripts or chapters. But if you have done writing all the way through your three or four years, I can guarantee you that at the end you will not have that mad rush to write things down. Because, of course, there is a finite amount of stuff to write. And if you have spread it out more evenly during your PhD, it's just, <laughs> it just follows that in the end there is relatively less to write. A very important point also to write early and therefore especially also to finish chapters early is that you then, depending on your system, you can submit these manuscripts already for publication in a journal. And that is very important because in the end, that gives you a decisive edge for the next career stage if you graduate already with a few papers to your name. And if you have not submitted your manuscripts yet because you're still waiting until the very end to finish your chapters, then of course you will not graduate with papers. And you will also have basically the burden of still finishing up manuscripts that uh, goes into your postdoc appointment. So I think that is a major, <laughs> very good reason to start writing from the very beginning because that might mean that you also finish up chapters. Also, don't underestimate the huge psychological bonus you get from the knowledge of having completely checked off one chapter. So of course that entails doing the, let's say the lab or field or whatever research work, but it also includes the writing. So if you have approval from your PI or your, your mentor that this is accepted as a chapter, I mean, I remember still from my PhD days that that was a, was a major turning point for me. <laughs> and so this is actually a super important reason to start writing early. So you can have that experience fairly early on. Writing also forces you, of course, to 
organize your thoughts. Now, organizing your thoughts and your ideas in a coherent framework is very important for the beginning of your PhD because otherwise everything appears endless, right? You can always read more about this, that and the other thing. But if it's clear in your mind where you want to go, what are the important components, then it automatically becomes much more channeled. And obviously the importance of having your ideas organized in your mind cannot be overemphasized. This is super important, uh, especially at the beginning of your PhD. And as you write things down, you will normally realize when your thinking is still muddy because your writing will be muddy. And as you, as you lay out sort of the various steps of your, of your research and what is the background to your research and what is the gap that you want to address in your research, I think your thinking will become much more clear as you write things down. Because if you don't write things down, it will all be so all over the place and diffuse, right? It will be a bunch of notes here and there. I mean, the notes are also writing, but I think putting it all together into a coherent framework um, and organizing your thoughts, as you would, for example, for an introduction and also for a discussion section, that is very valuable. And the earlier you get this done, the better. In addition to this laying out your thoughts more clearly, in the process of writing and as you, through your writing, lay out more clearly where the gaps are, for example, you can also get ideas. Certain writing types get ideas when they are writing. This is something I discovered very late for myself. This is the case for me. When I write, I actually do get ideas. And so when you write early, it means you also can get some ideas early. And if you can get these ideas early, they can still be useful for your PhD because you can actually work on them rather than at the very end. So it's not just organizing your ideas, but also potentially getting new ideas and better ideas through your writing. And a final point is if you establish a regular writing routine, you actually train your brain to get into a writing mode. And so this will make everything easier from that point on. I must admit I haven't been very successful at establishing these regular writing routines, but I can see that if I more regular work on a certain writing project, for example, of course this gets better over time because I don't need to uh, you know, spend too much time getting into this uh, thought process again because you're basically already in it. And your brain already knows now I need to produce text. So the advantages of doing that seem pretty obvious and this is also what everybody says is you know, create certain situations, certain routines that signal to your brain now it's time to write. And if you do this early on, of course, you can profit from having established that routine and having trained your brain to produce text from the very beginning. Well, those are the um, six reasons why I think you should start writing early. Now, the common response I get to telling people they should write early on is, well, I haven't done any lab work, so I haven't gotten any results that I can write about. So I can basically not write without results, right? But that's not true. I mean, while it is true that maybe it's difficult to write the results section of a paper or a chapter, a paper contains other parts, as you know. I mean, there's notably the introduction and the discussion, which are by far the most difficult parts to write. And of course, you can already start writing on the introduction and the discussion section either of a paper or of the entire thesis because this is the background for your, for your work. So of course you can start working on that from the very beginning, even in the absence of any results. And even if you don't per se start, let's say, writing a manuscript before you have any results, which admittedly would be a bit unusual, um, you of course can still produce that text. You can lay out the framework, you can explain to yourself that background that is necessary for the study. And in the end, of course, you can just basically take that text and put it into the introduction or in the discussion where it fits. So you have already produced that text and you're starting basically from plenty from material that's already there when you actually end up writing your manuscript in earnest. 
but the writing has already been done earlier. And of course, you might already um, write some of the parts of the method section, for example. So there is actually, when you think about the structure of a normal data paper, a primary research paper, there's already a bunch of sections that you can at least start already producing text for, even without having any results yet. And even if, like, say, that first experiment doesn't work out, for which you had planned that text, I mean, this is still your PhD, you're not gonna most likely completely change your topic in the course of a PhD. And so therefore the text that you have already produced, it can still be used in other manuscripts as well. So I hope that was convincing for you that um, you should start writing early because there's so many advantages and I don't think there are any disadvantages. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.